A new Tampa Bay Business Journal hits newsstands today, and editor Alexis Milner is here to talk about some of the week's big stories. Good morning. Thanks Good morning to you, for Dia. being here. Good to see Always you. A pleasure. First up this morning, we talk about a rebound in venture capital investing, which means big things for one St. Petersburg company. That's well, venture news. capital fund invests in small, early, smaller, early stage entrepreneurial companies that have a, a model for profit. And in the last couple of years in the recession, the folks that fund these sort of early stage companies has been way down. But the, the recent numbers, and it was a real report, uh, are up 30 percent more deals in 2010. And one company, Tower Cloud in St. Petersburg, got $18 million in funding. And as we look at trends and looking for positive signs, there's several economic positive signs, and this is one of them. You need this kind of investment in these companies to grow jobs. And, and when you look at Tower Cloud, it's a wireless and fiber optic company, and so uh, software companies have also done very well. So this is, a, again, a very positive trend to see some of this confidence Good. back in the market. Good. We love it. All right, next up, we're talking about a more focused effort on marketing to the Hispanic population. Well, it used to be that if you were a company that looked, needed to have sophisticated services in, uh, to reach Hispanic, that you would go to Miami or New York, uh, those agencies down there, the ad agency community, very evolved. Uh, in Tampa, what's happening is we report that there are a lot more sophisticated, sophisticated firms locally that are providing these services. We talk about uh, a, a company that's doing some work for the former MacDill uh, Credit Union, now Grow Financial. It, they can't just use translation. There are very sophisticated cultural differences, uh, dialectic nuances, and what's happening is in Tampa Bay, the, the, the available talent for marketing these services is increasing, and that's another positive sign. All right, and finally this morning, we're talking about uh, the newest building at USF. It's going to be as green as possible. We're not talking about the school's colors either. Well, they raised some student fees, and they did a bond issue for a 15 to $20 million student center on the campus of University of, uh, USF uh, St. Pete. It's going to be very green. The, the students demanded that. They had a lot of role in the design, and they've named a builder, Creative Contractors in, in Clearwater, which is a specialist in green building. And uh, we, we wonder whether or not they'll paint it green. <laughs> that would be neat. Which would be green smart. Uh, maybe in a, you know, a deep USF green. <laughs> uh, maybe in a, a nice color, you know, quality paint. Uh, but that's, uh, and again, uh, green building is increasingly efficient from a financial point of view, and that's going to be a signature uh, architectural uh, statement on the campus of USF St. Pete. Great news. Go Always. Bulls. Absolutely. <laughs> For more Business Journal headlines, go to our website, abcactionnews.com slash business. Good to see you, Alexis. Always see you.